Hello, hello, friends. It's Shelly with Chocotour. It is Monday. Happy Monday to you. Say hello as you're hopping on. I'm going to get things squared away and then we'll start. Make sure you guys pop in and say hello. We're going to work with one of the four farmhouse patterns, the chicken wire. I'm going to make it just a little riser. I think that'll be fun. Hope you guys are having a great Monday. All right, our text system went out. If you would like to be on my texting system, go ahead and just comment text, and I'll get you all signed up for that. All it is is a quick text saying that I'm live in case you keep missing the Facebook notifications, which I always do. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Happy Monday. Thanks for hopping on. I am a little bit early because I am going to go see my one of my daughters and spend the night with her tonight. So I'm excited about that. So we're going to come a little early today and get our project done. Um, I do want to just remind you of a couple things. So yesterday was the last day for the Valentine uh, flash sale. So all the Valentine items are now regular, regular price. Maybe some are in the last chance um, category. I'm not quite sure. I didn't check that this morning. But they could be in the last chance category. But they are not 50% off anymore. Um, couple, just a couple days left, you guys, to get your January Club Couture transfer. If you're not a club member, this is January. So if you sign up in January, you can sign up anywhere between the first of the month and the last of the month and still receive that month's transfer. And then you'll get the three um, pack singles that come with it. So you get a little package like this. It comes with three singles. And then you get a mini squeegee. If it's your first time subscribing as a club member, you'll get a free squeegee so that you can chalk right out the gate, um, provided you have a surface, and I can help you with that. Uh, but this is January's. And then our promo this month was the Creative Kickstart um, bundle. In it, you got the, uh, the oval which you can't get separately, right? You have to get it only this way. You can earn it by placing an order of $100 before tax and shipping. Um, and then they'll send it out to you. It does come with two transfers. So it has the numbers and it says, welcome to, and you can say my home, our home. It has all kinds of different um, 
variations for that. So that only can be earned. Again, it has to be $100. That's U.S. dollars before tax and shipping. Um, and they automatically add it to your order and they ship it out with your order. So only two more days left, right? Today's the 30th. There's 31 in January. So today and tomorrow. All right. Let's get on with the show. This is the four, four, four farmhouse patterns transfer. It's a D size transfer. Um, so this is just like the faux words, although it is, um, it looks like it's a passage from a dictionary. So there's the word lucky, lucrative, loyal, loyalist, uh, lucernal, lovely. Um, so this would be a nice one to do something with uh, either for the lovely, you could do something with Valentine's. For the lucky, you could do something green and do something for St. Patrick's. Here is your um, brick wall. And then there's one more. I guess I don't have it in here. There's the, um, the lines that makes like a faux wood wall. And then this one is our chicken wire. Now, some people might say it's honeycomb. Hey, Mary, thank you. I so appreciate you sharing and liking my video. Um, this is actually chicken wire. It looks like honeycomb. We're going to kind of play on that a little bit and kind of make it like honeycomb. So that's the one we're working with today. We're just going to make a cute little riser to set stuff up in. And I thought, oh my gosh, how cute would that be to do those bees from the... Um, that one transfer, which is not right close to me. And then, so the base of our riser is gonna be our hexagon cutout that we had, oh gosh, for a very short time. That like came in and went out like a hurricane. Um, it sold out so quickly and they never restocked. I just was able to grab a couple, but I thought how appropriate, right? Perfect shape. So let's get that out. I might add the B. I'm, we'll see if I add the B. I don't know. We might just do that. We'll see. Okay. Um, I may use this because what I'm going to do is we're going to put wood beads at all the points. All right. And that's how we're going to um, lift our little riser here. All right, so we'll hot glue those down. We're gonna wanna paint them, so I am gonna probably put them on something sticky. Um, not sure, this really isn't sticky anymore. So I don't know, we either may spray this, make it more sticky, or, oh, we do have, oh, this one's kinda sticky, let's see. We sprayed that the other day, and we just never really used it. So let's see. We're just going to kind of give it a brown water wash to it. We're not going to really make it pure brown. Um, just kind of give it a country-ish look. So we'll see how well that sticks. All right. First things first, let's decide what side we're going to put this on. So sometimes our wood cutouts, no matter what the shape is, sometimes one side is less wood grained than the other. So I think that would be this side. So I'm gonna go ahead with this side and I am I just have some dark, dark brown paint. I'm just gonna flat it on there. Let's get, that's too big. We're just gonna get a brush here. And I'm gonna kind of thin that out with some water. How are you today, Mary? How's your weather? We have rain, snow, it's kind of a mix today. It's awful. So I get to drive in that, that'll be fun. Always so much fun. All right, so we're just kind of painting this. I'm gonna do the sides too. I'm kind of being sloppy about it because I think I'm going to come in and 
maybe rub some of that off just to kind of give it like a, just a, a whitewash, but a color wash, I guess is what they call it. So we're just gonna kind of give it a color wash. 84 partly sunny. Oh, I need to get to Florida. That's where I need to go, south. I need to go south. All right. All right, you know what? I'm going to put this down on my the board it came in, if I can grab it, so I don't get my mat all dirty. And then we're just going to kind of play around. I'm going to see if, if I do take some of this off. Do I take a lot off? Do I take a little bit off? You could use probably a wood stain if you wanted to do that. If you're trying to match stuff in the house. I'll just try blotting it, see if that makes it look more like a worn piece of wood, which I kind of like. I do. Oh, I like that. You guys like that? Oh, I like it. All right. All right, let's get this dry. And then we'll get our little wood legs painted up. I get to go see my daughter and her kitty. That'll be fun. So I posted an event um, earlier today. I'm gonna be doing a vendor show. I'm gonna do this side too real quick. Um, I'm gonna be doing a vendor show and it's put on by um, a group that does um, animal adoptions. And we get to be in the same room as all the animals. There's gonna be, they say there's gonna be like hundreds of animals, which I can't believe it, right? To be in the same room with all those animals. And I'm kind of thinking, what if I find my next furry friend there? I'm kind of hopeful, because I'm missing my little buddy that I lost in the fall. We're missing him bad, so it'd be kind of nice to have another little furry guy around. Okay. All right. I'm really liking that. Again, Mary, thank you so much. You're so awesome. I have to figure out where these stars are going. I got to look into this. <laughs> you are awesome. Thank you. Let's see, can I put that on the, it comes up as a blank post. Do you see that? That's kind of strange. But thank you, Mary. All right, so here's our riser before we rise it and um, do anything else to it. Let's put that aside for a moment. Let's get our little, yeah, those are just gonna kind of roll around. So you know what, we're just going to hold it. Yes, I'm gonna get all messy, but that's okay. These are just regular wood beads, round wood beads. They do have the holes in them. Um, I'm sure you could find beads without holes. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Stop clicking. <laughs> All right, we're just 
going to get these all. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that one. We lost one. Just going to get these all dirtied up here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be solid. Kind of gives it that antique -y look. Almost like a walnut color. I'm going to add a, just a tinge more to my foam brush here. Actually, I should dot some of that off. I'm going to get this wet. Ooh, and then we're going to have to wash our hands. Goodness. You know what though, it's not crafting unless you're messy, right? Do you guys use risers in your kitchens or wherever, a dining room, anywhere you display some home decor pieces? I think this would be really cute. We have a honeybee farms transfer coming out in just a couple days, three to four days, February 2nd, guys. And then I don't know if you've heard, but there's going to be a new program called Color of the Month where we're going to have a, an exclusive color of paste once a month. Um, you will have to put in an order of, a, uh, I think it was $75. And then you can add it to your cart to purchase, which is awesome sauce. Let me get my runaway bead. Let's get him a little darkened here. Okay, there's those. Look at those messy fingers. Yes, that's a great time to do that around the holidays. Special dinners, special celebrations. All right, we are almost close to being somewhat clean here. So tomorrow I'll probably be a little later than usual, probably in the evening by the time I get home and stuff from seeing my daughter. Okay. All right, I think I'm clean. Let's put that aside. All right, now comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and get this waxed. My mom needed wax, so I gave her the other one, and I think I just waxed the wrong side, but that's okay. They're both painted, so. All right, let's go ahead and wax. Okay, we apply it. Take a paper towel. And then we'll buff it in. It actually looks like a piece of wood. Okay, so we have this nice shiny piece of waxed wood. I line this up on my mat here. I'm going to try to make it sh make sure it's kind of parallel. Uh, let's mark it on the back. I think 
think this is the way up. So farmhouse patterns. And this is chicken wire, believe it or not. It looks like honeycomb, um, but it is in fact chicken wire. We'll take it off our backer sheet. Don't ever throw your backer sheets away, guys, because you need that. You need to put your uh, transfer back on once you've cleaned it and dried it. All right, and then we're gonna try to find a good pattern to put on here. So, let's start here and see where that takes us. <laughs> kind of hoping I could have found a center. Let's see. Let's try our centering trick here. Let's pinch our transfer in half this way. That way I can find the center on my little riser. One, two, three and a half. I think all sides are the same. Three and a half. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. So center and then this line here would be our center. So let me find that line. And then I need to find the point. This line is our point, right? All right, I think we got it. Let's go ahead and rub that down. Now we're gonna take Dune. Actually, I might, well, I'll do it in Dune. I was going to do it in Bark and then do Dune on top, but I think I'm just going to do Dune. Let's do the Dune. All right, so we're just going to chalk the entire honeycomb shape here, our hexagon. Which, boy, I really wish they would have brought that back out. Maybe they'll bring it back out from the vault. Who knows? Maybe there's surprises there for us. We'll see. Come February 2nd. And I hear there's going to be a new sign up promo with some good stuff in there. Can't wait. Can't wait to offer you guys all the goods. All the goodies. There will be um, no more $59.99 uh, sign up access fees, but it will be $9.99, $9.99, and then $99.99, or just $99. All right, so there's the chicken wire. Let's get this dry. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of just color in a pattern. And then what we'll do is we'll actually chalk it again. brushes we have our artist tool set um see, i don't even know where my pieces are i think they're dirty i'm not sure 
but you can take any brush set if you have one. Let's see, I'm thinking I want a small. This is, that should be good. This should be good. It feels sticky though. Okay. So let's do this. We're gonna just bring out a little chunk here, put it in our lid. And I'm gonna spray it just with a little bit of water. Yes. And so um, February's is called Dream Car Pink, like the Barbie. And then um, I don't know what March will be. But it'll be, I don't know if, and I don't know if it'll be the same. You have to spend 75 or not to get it. I don't know if they'll change up the promo every month, but the color will change every month and will be available on the first of every month. Okay, so we just kind of watered it down a little bit. I'm going to put my glasses on. We're going to try to stay in the lines. And where do I want to start? Um, let's see if we do a flower here and a flower there, we could just do, we're just going to, this brush has lots of flyaway hairs. Let me try to trim it. It's not making a nice impression here they had one done in the art gallery and I thought it looked so neat so you just color in your sections here I'm going to water it down just a little bit so the dream car pink is just, it is pink. <laughs> it is very pink, very, very pink. Um, so I think I did that wrong. I think I should have done the outside. So let's, gotta keep track of what I'm doing here. Okay, I think I was right. And there's going to be five new En Vogue colors, all springy, which will be fun. I think yesterday I said I was going to, we were going to play with two of them, and then I forgot. I had to make my dinner. We ate kind of late. Ate kind of late. All right, so then I want to come down and do the next one here. I'm wondering if I should, so I might come around, come this time when I chalk it, I might do like a dark brown or bark or chocolate. I'm not sure. Chocolate's a retired color we used to have. So this is kind of like the watercolor technique. Just kind of trying to stay in the lines here. Trying to. So then I think we're gonna we're gonna just do four patterns here. 
Actually, I should have done that one. Let's see if I can try to get that up. I want to try to not line that up. Let me get that. Let me get that out of there. Look at that. Even with a dry washcloth, I was able to get that guy right out of there. We're going to just kind of go off a level here. So it doesn't look like it was planned. Mary, you were asking about the numbers yesterday. Were you able to find those? Okay, and then we'll take a step up here. All right. Okay. All right, friends, we are getting close here. All right. Let's let that dry. Someone made a mistake and sent you an extra kit. Oh my. You're saying from Chocotor? In one order, a, cape, a couple came, you mean? Or, because, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what happened there. see if I should color in any other ones here. be done. I feel like I should have something over here filled in, but let me look at the pattern here. So bloop, bloop. So it would have been one, two, three, one, two, three, and those two. So... 
See, I'm trying to repeat the pattern. Now I'm getting all confused here. So it's like four wide, one, two, three, four, starting here. So one, two, three, four, those are empty. So, so I'm thinking these two should be colored in. Um, I bet if you just like replied to the order or something, um, they'd probably even just tell you to keep it. They're really good like that. Um, let's see. So there'd be one, two, three, four. Thinking this one and this one, right? Okay, now I think I have the pattern right. I really, really made, need to make sure this is uh, nice and dry. I see a lot of wet spots here. What do you guys think? Do you like that so far? I think it's an interesting look. Chocolate. Dark, dark, dark chocolate paste. Hopefully, you know what? I don't remember if this one is okay or not. I think we can chocolate that. Very, very old, very, very retired. Okay. So then we're going to come back with our transfer here. Oof. And then we're going to, yeah, we're going to have to wash this because I can't see. That is going to be nice having those new transfers that we can see through. So those are going to be awesome. Those, those are coming out with our new releases. The fresh start pattern or all the transfers from the fresh start release that we just had. Those all are more transparent and easier to see. Okay, let's get that wet. So we're just getting whatever kind of dried on top of our transfer off. We're gonna peel that up, turn it over, and then work on the back side of the transfer. If you still see like a lot of um, paste in there, which I see, I'm gonna get my board eraser.
get it wet, give it a squeeze, and then really work that paste out of there. Okay. This transfer is a pretty thick one. Sometimes the transfer material itself is, it varies. Sometimes it feels thin to me and sometimes it feels a little thicker. All right, but we're gonna get this nice and cleaned up before we continue so that we can see what we're doing. It's kind of important. Okay. Oh, I need to just work on my desk one day. I just need to sit down and clean my desk. Then I won't know where anything is. It tends to happen, right? You think you're getting all organized and you're like, now where did I put that? Okay, all nice and clean. Let's get our transfer dried up here a little. a little damp I can feel you don't want to put a wet transfer on your project uh, because that will tend to possibly lift up okay we're gonna try to match up where we were so We're gonna try to get close anyways. Okay, pretty close. Get another squeeze. See, this is kind of thick. Let's go ahead and give it some water here. This we used to have, oh gosh, a long time ago. This is called, I want to say it was called chocolate. And it looks like semi-sweet chocolate. So this has been many, many years ago. I Probably 2018, 19 this color was around. Think about it. I still have it. It's crazy. Crazy. Okay, hopefully that's not too wet. All right, let's go ahead and chalk it. Too bad it doesn't smell like chocolate. Wouldn't that be awesome? smell o vision Somebody needs to invent that, right? I'm surprised no one has at this point. All right, make sure you're hitting those edges. Let's get rid of that excess. Ooh, I'm a little off, but look how cool that looks. So cool. Awesome. That looks so good. All right, let's get our glue gun going here so we can do our risers on. Oh, thank you, Mary. Make 
sure it's nice and dry. If you wanted to distress it, you could, you know, uh, do some sanding just to rough it up a little bit. I'm always afraid to do that. <laughs> I don't trust my distressing. Let's see. We'll do the edges first. How about that? Practice on the edges. All right, I like it. I like it. <coughs> Excuse me. In this guys I'm liking it all right let's do a little bit on the tops here okay what do you guys think I love it gives it like an outline I kind of like that everything up while we wait for our glue to get hot okay dirties It's almost five o'clock already, you guys. Oh boy, I'm late getting to my daughter's. All right, let's finish this up so I can get on the road. Come on, hurry up, glue gun. All right, we got our little beads. this over so we painted the other side too just to give it the same color and the glue is just starting to get hot so I'm going to try to pump out some here One, and I'm going to put it with the hole down. I think it has to warm up another second or two. Let's do that. Let it warm up. So I figured I would do one at each point. And then it'll just sit nicely. How cute. Cute, cute, cute. Come on, hot glue gun. Still has power, so that's a good thing. Here's another squirt. Turning as we go here.
All right. Turn that off. Make sure they're really stuck down. And voila, how cute is that? There's like a side view of it. How cute is that, you guys? Do you love it, like it, hate it? I think it's adorable. So cute. Um, if you wanted, you could do beads around the edge. Um, I have... You can get these off of Amazon. They are um, half wood beads. So you don't have to worry about... Thank you. Thank you, Mary. You don't have to worry about cutting them in half. They already come halved. So I think these are the small ones. There's the small ones. I bought like three different sizes because I wasn't sure what I would need one day. Um, so you can go around all the edges and do that if you wanted to put a more farmhousey touch to it. So cute. All right, guys, I need to skedaddle. Thanks so much for showing up tonight or today. I guess it's not nighttime quite yet, but it's coming. Um, thank you for showing up. I'll see you guys again.